Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio, your station for empowerment, music, and talk radio. EB Radio presents Empower Hour with Jerisha. A show that shares the stories behind the journeys of leaders, influencers, and motivators. The Empower Hour with Jerisha begins now. And welcome to Empower Hour with Jerisha. I am your host, Jerisha Moore Smith, and it's another amazing Wednesday. And if this is your first time tuning into the show, I'm so very happy that you're tuning into the show this evening. I want you to know that I believe you have the power to be great, have great, and do great. You just have to be willing to unleash your greatness and take action. So on this show, I speak with leaders, motivators, and influencers who want to share their stories and journeys to empower the world for growth and success. And before we jump into my amazing, you know, having a discussion with my amazing guest this evening, I want to share with you all that next month, we are going to be celebrating our 100th episode. And so that's such a big deal. Really, really excited about all that comes on, you know, just talking about my journey up to 100. My goodness, when I tell you all that it has truly been a journey. And so you don't want to miss um, the episodes that we have, you know, in the works for you for next month, because I am going to share what that journey has looked like. So my journey to 100, the successes, and all of the moments of uncertainty, the bloopers, everything that goes along with this whole journey of Empower Hour with Teresha. So stay tuned. I'm really, really excited, and you don't want to miss that. However, so let's just jump right into this because, you know, as I shared, I truly, truly have an amazing guest. Uh, and before I bring him in, I definitely want to share a little bit more with you all because you know that on this show, we generally have a empowerment quote that we're pondering and we discuss and go through a little bit of detail as far as that each and every week. You guys know I absolutely love empowerment quotes. And today's quote is truly, truly, truly amazing. The quote is from uh, Janice uh, Trotman, and it simply says, everything is within your power, and your power is within. Now, this quote truly speaks to me in the season that I'm in. This season that I've been in, but, you know, specifically the season that I am in right now of making moves, and you know how I like to put it, making boss moves, we often feel like things are out of our reach, and all we have to do is stretch ourselves. We don't recognize the power that we have within us, and so I feel like I am at a point in my life and a season in my life where I am being stretched out of that comfort zone. And you guys know the comfort zone that I'm talking about. So in this season of my life, I am truly, truly being stressed. I mean, stressed too, but stretched is what I <laughs> truly meant to say. So being stretched, and when you think about stretching, think about that that um, that rubber band that we use. And, and so, um, you know, one of the teachings that I actually – uh, one of the trainings that I teach um, with the law of rubber bands through the John Maxwell team is that when you take the common rubber band, you know, that we all often have laying around our house somewhere, we use this rubber band for many different things to, you know, I have to, a rubber band holding envelopes together. I have a rubber band that holds some index cards and all that together. So, you know, you think about the rubber band and in order for us, when we use it, we have to stretch it. So utilizing that rubber band that you have, you it requires you to stretch it. You have to stretch it in order for you to use it. And so think about that with your own life and the things that you're doing. You have the power within you, okay? Just like the quote says, everything is within your power and the power is within you. 
Well, you know, I like to think of, your, you know, I refer to it as your greatness or your power. Whatever you want to refer to it as, just know it's already within you. So we have everything that we need already within us. All we have to do is unleash it and be willing to stretch and take action. That is so important. So this evening, speaking of action, I want to bring in my amazing guest, Ben Winter. And I'm so excited to have you on the show this evening. Please, please, please um, come in and and uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about who Ben is and and some of the amazing things that you're doing. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's uh, it's good to be here. So uh, a little bit about me. So I, I've been doing a lot of different things in my life. Uh, improv is kind of my favorite thing, and I sort of have taken that into the professional realm, and I, I teach groups and uh, corporations improv and and throughout that process of teaching improv for you know team building for company culture stuff like that I just I kept coming across this random thing around expectations and and I decided that I needed to solve it for myself and then I decided I needed to share it with the world so um, been doing a lot of personal growth work travel <laughs> life with a child you know so many different things and and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's my opportunity to give back. Absolutely, so here I, I love it. I love it. I love it. So of course, I'm so partial to personal growth. So you know, I heard you say personal growth, personal growth, improv, and I'm very intrigued to learn more, to know more, because it's very interesting. So you know, having you, I would just share that I I have had probably one experience with improv, and it was quite interesting. Um, but I would love to know more about, you know, you mentioned, um, expectations and of course you do have, um, a book called what to expect when having expectations. I would love to know more about then, you know, as the author and, you know, tell us more about your book and, and, um, you know, what inspired you to truly, you know, write it. Yeah. So when I started my improv company, I decided I needed to write a book because, you know, people like published authors because apparently they know more. And so I, I use it as a tool of legitimacy in, in the business. And it's kind of like what I teach, but in book form. So anybody can pick it up and learn a little bit about improv and how it applies to life. And throughout the process of teaching, I would kept coming across this kind of moment in time where I would tell people that the only reason they get upset is because an expectation hasn't been met. And I always find that fascinating because it seems to hold true no matter what I, what I look at or however I look at it, but it doesn't solve any problems. And so I sat down and, and decided to kind of go through a mental exercise of figuring this out, of taking that moment in time when you're upset, taking those expectations and, um, kind of solving that if if nothing else again for myself but uh, ultimately for people around me and then so I, I turned into this flow chart where I, I took that moment in time of being upset and worked through like all the various options and what might happen and as I got further and further along I realized depth to it that I really needed to write a book and kind of fill in all the blanks and so that's where the book of around expectations came from was just my exploration into solving a problem that everybody faces on a daily basis. Mm. That's so good. That's so good. I love that. <laughs> I truly do. Like <laughs> I said, you know, for me, it's all about, you know, personal development, personal growth. I've been on this journey of personal growth and development and, um, and I can definitely see how having a tool such as yourself, such as, you know, your book would be extremely helpful, helpful. So you, you mentioned the flow chart uh, called how to stop being um, upset. Tell us more about that and how you feel like it can truly help those um, out there that are listening. Yeah. So in today's world, there's so many people out there saying like, don't get upset, chill out, calm down, all that fun stuff. And in theory, what they're trying to do is get you to be happy. But what they're they're failing to kind of point out is that those moments in time when we get upset are great moments in time for 
or for personal growth and reflection. Um, because anytime that we're upset, that there means there's something not being met, some expectation that we have. And if we stop for a second, we check in with ourselves. And, and the first question on this flow chart is, did you know you had the expectation? And most of the time, we don't even know we had it and that we have it of ourselves and others until we're upset. And so it, it's this great opportunity to take a step back. And it's at that point you can chill out and calm down and explore it. But I always tell people, like, go ahead and get upset. Use it as that, that point in time to grow from it. Um, and the flow chart is just a, a mental exercise for an emotional problem. Uh, being upset is an emotional issue. And, and as Einstein put it, you can't solve problems at the same level that they're created. So if you have an emotional issue, you can't solve it emotionally but you might be able to solve it mentally or spiritually or physically. Um, and so that's kind of the approach that I took was let's not solve this emotional problem emotionally. And so a workflow is just that it's a mental exercise that you can take from those moments in time and, and actually use them for your advantage. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. I love, I love that. That's good. So I want to, you know, I, I, I realized I kind of skipped over this, but I really would love to hear more about improv. Um, you mentioned um, that the lessons and pretty much how you've um, learned from, you know, improv and how it can, it sounds like, can really teach us some really powerful life lessons. Um, can you share a little bit more as far as how you have been able to utilize that um, improv in, you know, both your teachings and then also um, just in your everyday life? Yeah, so the way I look at it is, is that we live a life of improv. We don't wake up with a script next to our bed. We, we have no idea what's going to come about from our day. And the thing that I didn't know when I took my first improv class was that there are rules to improv. So if you've ever watched an improv show, you just see these people making stuff up on the spot. You just think, oh, they're the, the most brilliant people ever. And they're just <laughs> they're just creating this magic and they must be funny and brilliant and smart and fast and blah, blah, blah. blah. The, the reality is anybody can do improv um, and they can do it on stage as long as they understand the rules and they apply them as they're kind of going through that process. And so once mm -hmm. I learned those rules, improv just became easy. I didn't have to think, I didn't have to be funny, like it just, it was easy and effortless. And since we live a life of improv, we can take those same rules that apply to stage improv and we can apply them to our lives and thus make our lives easier, more fun. Um, honestly, I have way more fun in conversations because my mind can go three or four different ways <laughs> and just play with it. <laughs> and so... You know, one of the biggest rules of improv that people may or may not have heard is yes and. Um, you know, I, whenever I talk to anybody, they're always, that's the rule they know. That's the rule they've heard. And yes and really just applies to those moments in time where we have to accept what is before we can do anything else about it. You know, if we think about um, relationships or we think about finances, if we think about addiction, if we think about mental issues, whatever they may be, we have to accept where we are before we can ever grow from it, before we can do anything about it. Like anybody who's got like an addiction, if they don't accept that they have an addiction, they're not going to be able to recover from it. You know, it's like mm -hmm. you're, you're telling your uncle or whatever, like, hey, you have a problem with drinking. No, I don't. Well, they're not going to solve it if they don't think they have a problem. So they have to accept that they have a problem before they're going to do anything about it. And, you know, it can be very simple things, but it can also be really big things. And, and so the rules of improv apply. And anytime we get upset in the world, we have to accept our role in that moment in time. We have to accept what we did to get us to that spot. Um, you know, sitting there and blaming everybody else is, is the same as like, no, but. Like, no, my finances aren't bad because it's somebody else's fault that I can't save money, <laughs> right? Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. But if we can accept, like, hey, I've been really bad at saving money and I want to do something different, then you can say, yeah, that's that's what is, and, and now I can move forward from there. And so that's mm -hmm. kind of how improv plays in life. There's 
I cover five different rules of improv. Um, when it comes to stage improv, there's a lot more going on there, a uh, mm-hmm. lot more rules. And I could probably equate every one of them to real life scenarios if I sat down with it long enough. So, <laughs> but I just stick to five. <laughs> <laughs> that's good though I mean even the one that you just mentioned I mean it's again I don't know too much about improv but um, that definitely makes sense and how we can truly apply it to our life um, and you know the example that you gave with we had you know we it's about accountability we have to accept accept it so that we can then learn from it and grow from it as well so, of course, on this show, one of the things that we, you know, talk about is growth and growing and, you know, some of those lessons and all of that um, that we learn. What would you say has been um, the most important thing that you've learned in your life up to this point? The most important thing that I have learned is the, the power of living in the moment is so huge um, mm. there's so much going on in every moment that we live that when we think about the past and we get worried about the future we miss mm. so much with what's going on right right here and right now and it's it's something that i still practice a lot um, patience is a very big part of that uh, patience is kind of just being present and not worrying about the future. And, you know, you still want to set goals. You still want things in the future, but you have to sometimes, you have to go to bed and wake up in the morning before worrying about Mm -hmm. what's going to happen the next day. You know, it's like living in the now is being relaxed because it's nighttime and it's, it's time to be around family and, and share that. And then when the time comes, you'll know that you have something to do. Uh, you have a step to take. And so the power of living in the present is, is so huge. And that is actually one of the rules of improv. Uh, it's actually <laughs> called focus on the present. And it's, that was one of the biggest pieces that I learned in improv because people are like, you have to think so fast when doing improv. And I'm like, no, it's the exact opposite. You got to turn off your brain. Don't think at all. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's amazing. Like it is a it is a skill to just stop thinking and just listen to the person who's talking. To look at the situation and just take it in as it is without trying to solve anything, without figuring out where it's going to go. And and that's it's such a beautiful thing. So beautiful. It is. I'm so happy that you said that too because um, I I think I had my own aha moment not too long ago with you know with kids and of course and if anyone has kids you know that they're always wanting you to be in the moment and be present when we have 50 million things going on and um, and so I you know I wanted to have that moment to where I could be present and disconnect and it came from kid you know one of my kids actually saying mom um, you know. When, when are we going to have time for this or when are we going to have time for that because of just having so many different things going on. And so it was almost like a reality check, like, okay, I need to be in the moment. And, and when I tell you it is a matter of practicing the patience and um, it, I mean, it truly is, I mean, it's, it's amazing but at the same time, it's some, I mean, it's a little bit of a challenge. It was a challenge for me to really be able to disconnect and be present with whatever the situation, whatever's going on, um, and blocking out that time, too. So for me, it's all about being able to block out um, the, the time to be present, to be in the moment, to disconnect, to be able to focus on whatever it is, whether it's family, friends, uh, to be able to, you know, really have that time. So I'm happy that you mentioned that, too, because, um, you know, as I shared early on about being in a season of my life where I'm truly being stretched and um, just talking about the power, the power. And so that brings me to um, the empowerment quote, of course, that I had shared, how everything is within your power and your power um, and your power is within you. Share, if you share with us on what that truly means to you, 
um, you know, please, please uh, elaborate. The, the way that I interpret that is that we only have control of ourselves and our thoughts. Um, so we have so much power over ourselves and our, our view of life and our situation. And too often people think of power as control of others. And that's, unfortunately, it's gotten us into a lot of horrible places as a society where we're always trying to push our will onto others because we think it's what's best. Whereas each individual, given the opportunity and the tools, is going to figure out what's best for them. And so I, I kind of feel like it's just it, it, the self-empowerment piece is so big here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Mm -hmm. Because cause you have, in your, in your power, you have every moment of every day, you can choose to be happy. You can choose to go on a walk. You can choose to eat something different. Like, you have all these choices. And sometimes it may not feel like it, but you ultimately have the power over you. And as long as, like, for me, as long as I remember that I am in control of my life even though it may not feel like it sometimes, it's a very powering feeling. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. So I would love to know more. I know that um, we haven't talked about this yet, and you haven't shared, but I, I see based off of your bio that you have done some traveling and you're very adventurous. Tell us a little bit more about then you know, the adventurous side and some of the traveling you, you've, um, you've done. Yeah. So I've, I've definitely wanted to live life. Um, when opportunities show up, I'm, I'm kind of on the Richard Branson uh, train where he's like, you know, if an opportunity <laughs> comes up, say yes. And then, um, figure out how later. Right. Yeah. So, so like when I went to Tanzania, it was like, I don't know why I'm going to Tanzania. The opportunity was there and I had to figure out how to make it work and, and had to figure out how to pay for it and all this stuff. But I'm really glad I went. Um, mm -hmm. I decided I wanted to learn how to fly a plane on and, and fly a plane on my own. Like I, It wasn't like I want to fly a commercial jet or anything like that, but it was like, I want to fly an airplane. And so I took flight school. So I could do that. And I found an oper or found a way to make that happen. And, you know, so it's, it, it goes back to the, the empowerment thing, the, the choices that I can make. So if I want to do something and the opportunity shows up, then I just have to say yes and, and then figure out how to make it happen. So, you know, one of the things that I'm working on now, uh, I've been reading lots of science fiction because it's kind of the, the genre that I like. And at mm -hmm. one point I was just like, you know what? I've written some books. I kind of know the process. Like, what if I took my hand at writing sci-fi? And I just let it sit and ruminate and go out to the universe. And then all of a sudden I'm driving down the road and I look at a tree and I'm like, what if wormholes were like trees and there were branches going everywhere? Like, and then what if you took a wrong turn? Ooh, I should write a book called The Wrong Turn. And <laughs> right, So now I'm I'm sitting here writing a sci-fi novel because I put it out to the universe that it's something that I wanted to do and then all of a sudden it was given back to me in a whatever time frame it was given to say here you go here's your book here's your story to tell the world and I'm like mm -hmm. okay cool <laughs> that's so, so good so yeah that's, yeah that's okay so yeah, I just, well, I just so put it out there <laughs> yeah I mean but that's so powerful though because you know, just the, the conversation this evening has been, you know, really surrounding personal growth and, and, you know, empowerment and the fact that, you know, you several times decided, you know, because that's where it is, you know, we often decide that we're going to do something but never take the action. And so you decided and took action and then the ideas, you know, putting it out there and, and then say, you know what, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take that opportunity. I'm going to say yes. And, 
and take action because, you know, at the end of the day, no matter what, if it's a goal, a dream, whatever it may be, we have to be willing to take action um, and not just talk about it. So that's so good. That's so powerful. And I definitely thank you for even sharing that um, with us as well as um, your journey, your journey of traveling and um, of learning how to fly and all of that. All, that's <laughs> truly amazing and inspiring to so many of us who may be listening and thinking, you know what, um, I had an opportunity to do this or, you know, maybe I should move forward. It's such an inspiration um, to us that is listening who have many ideas and a dream that we haven't taken action on. So um, thank you so much for really sharing that because it's truly an inspiration. Uh, with that being said, uh, what makes Ben inspired? So what makes you feel like you're being your best self? Well, I know that I'm my best self when I am uh, doing improv. Um, like when I'm up on stage, I just know that I'm totally being myself. And at the same time, what I also realize and understand is that if I'm truly doing improv every moment of every day of my life, as long as I find myself following those rules of improv in every moment, then I am truly 100% myself. And mm -hmm. so sometimes it's just giving me the permission and reminder to remember I'm doing improv. I may not be doing it in front of a group of people. I may not be, you know, applauded or cheered for at the end of it, but I'm still doing it and I'm still my authentic self in the process. So Absolutely. I guess that's kind of the easiest way I can put it. <laughs> that's good. No, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> so one of the things that I like to ask anyone that comes on this show is if you could give anyone that's listening right now. So, um, you know, just share one piece of advice that you would give to um, those that are listening on how they can empower their own growth and success journey. What would that be? Empower your own. Uh, just do something. Just do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't think about it anymore. Um, I mean, Nike is – Nike was so smart with the just do it campaign. Um, and it's so true. It's like everybody, everybody has a story to tell. So just write it out. Just start. Like you can just write it on a piece of paper or in a notebook or type it up on a computer. Even if you don't do anything with it, it's, it's out of your brain and it's somewhere physical in this world. And, you know, I've been asked questions before, like, you know, would you have any regrets if you died tomorrow sort of thing? And I can mm -hmm. safely say at this point that I would not. I mean, I've got mm -hmm. I've got words that are authentically me put down on paper and in physical books that will outlive me. Mm -hmm. They are out in the world. People have them. People have read them. People know about it. And even if the book doesn't catch on for a thousand years, somebody's going to look at it someday and say, that was brilliant. And I'm going to mm -hmm. do something with it. So I absolutely don't have any regrets at this point. And, and I'm not done either. I've still got more to give. And so I just tell people, just start. Whatever it is, don't, don't make it perfect before you start. Just start. Yes. Yes. Just do it. Like you said, we walk just around with Nikes on and, and, you know, and what are we waiting for? Just do it. Just do it. I love it. Just start it. Just start it. Absolutely. So, Ben, I thank you so much for sharing, you know, your amazing story and journey. Um, how can we stay connected with you and, um, you know, support your efforts? So I think if anybody wants some more information, the best approach would be to go to the website, havingexpectations.com. Uh, the flow chart that we talked about, you can get a copy of that for free. You can um, find links to my books. And, yeah, it's just, you know, start doing something <laughs> to make your life better. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. That is a truly an inspiration. 
Um, definitely looking forward to checking out what to expect with having expectations and, um, you know, anything else that you have coming up. You are truly amazing. And I, like I said, inspired me. So I know that those that are listening are truly inspired. And so I just, again, want to take the time to say thank you then for being an amazing guest on the Empower Hours Jerisha show. Um, to those that are listening, I thank you so much for tuning in to the Empower Hours Jerisha show this evening. If you are interested in starting your own show or perhaps being a guest on the show to share your amazing story and journey to equip, encourage, and empower others for growth and success, please visit EnvisionedBroadcasting.com. So it's www that envisionbroadcasting.com to learn more. Please tune in next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you will hear an, another amazing story and journey from another leader, influencer, and motivator. Until next time, stay safe and be blessed. Thank you for listening to the Empower Hour with Jerisha, where Jerisha speaks with leaders, influencers, and motivators who share their journey in personal and professional growth. Empowerment tips, lessons learned, and keys of success that will empower you to your best self. Follow Jerisha on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Jerisha Moore and visit www.empoweronpurpose.com Remember to be intentional and be empowered and have a great day on purpose.